Hey guys, I'm Dash from Woodworking with Dash. Today we are going, we are going to make a Japanese toolbox. Just a rectangular box, a sliding lid, a handle and two surrounds. And we'll be making this box out of Australian blackwood, one inch thick which I'll cut down, American water for the handle for contrast, Australian red cedar for the sliding lids. For the surround, I'll use finger jointed birch. So, let's, let's, let's get on with it. Let's have a go. Like all projects, this one starts at the chop saw. Move on to the buzzer, where I buzz one flat surface and one edge. I want to keep this bit of black wet as thick as possible, but I have to cut it down the guts. Get two sides out of it. Over to the planer. Look at the colour of the blackwood. Nice chocolate burn. Now I'm moving it down to, to the uh, height, which is approximately 100 mil. And then shoving it down the gut. Now I will, after I plane them up, I'll get two 12 mil thick pieces, perfect for boxes. I would use a saw to cut them roughly to length, so I'll get four pieces before I cut the mitres. Oh yeah, now, now I'm grooving to the top and the bottom. The bottom is made of 6mm ply and the top is made of 7mm cedar. So I'm just grooving them both for 6mm and I will sand the cedar down to fit. Good fit for the bottom. Okay, turning the saw to 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. Cut it, cutting the ends on the mitre. Moving for the finish size. Now the, the, the bottom, you've, you've got to mark it so it fits into the groove. So don't make it too big, but the mitres won't close up. Or if you make it too small, it'll drop out of the groove. So you just got to take your time. And this is because you've got a sliding lid, you're cutting off one of the small ends. Bit of a sand on the inside. And, and using the masking tape method. To keep the mitre together before I put the box clamps on. I'm using uh, Type 1 3 glue, which I think is the best. It really sticks. This stuff. It does. It does actually stain the blackwood a little, so I have to be careful. Otherwise, I've got a lot of sand into it. Turning the other 
var mı? Ne diyor bana? Top edge. You know, to roll it up like a piano accordion. How easy is that? Bit of tape to hold it. Hey, wipe some of the excess glue off. Before you clamp it up. I do that with a wet rag. And now for the box clamp. These box clamps work really good on boxes. They keep, they keep them square and they make sure all the nice and clean up. Yeah, they work really good. Okay, just lift it up a little bit, then you can pull it up. This is the center. Okay, measure, measure for the corners and mark with an adjustable square. I'll be cutting these with a tenon saw. so I had to take a meal off. <coughs> now I'm marking for the curve then. Let's just use a uh, an old uh, edge tape row I had. That your size for now. Okay, there's no need to cut that on the band saw. It's some six mil thick. You see this old sand very easily. I just put out this one. This must be. Now, I, I need I need to put the stopper, which is the same height as the box. I just glue it on, but I'll leave it over length and cut it off later. Okay, 
Okay, now we can get onto the surrounds. So I'm making this out of finger jointed beach. And I need to cut eight of them. But I'll, I normally cut an extra one, but it's united and you might stuff one up. Uh, I'm cutting to about 35 mil thick. Now, right now over, over to the planer where I'll uh, take about a mil off each side to clean them up. Now, this is where I cut the mitre, but I forgot to film I, the uh, the edge work I done. I put it. Using the half inch bit of pie as a spacer. <coughs> we'll going to glue the first four on only. Okay, with these surrounds, you don't even have to cramp them. You just use a, a, a half inch spacer to get the to get a parallel. A little bit of glue and just rub them in and just leave them. We put out the we put the first four on so we get a hard a hard glue line to the box itself. And then we'll we'll put the top and the bottom one after they're dry. Okay, okay cutting the little inside pieces that go on the top. Okay, now now I'm, I'm putting the um, the top and the bottom surrounds. And taping the joins up. Oh, you know. Hey guys, you can see that I've just taped on the, the top of these uh, surrounds. They, they don't need to be cramped, just, just tape, the tape will pull them up just enough and let them dry. So the box is going well, I've only got the other two surrounds to do. The lid, the lid is coming on fine. The lid has got the, um, has got the infill pieces in there. Once they're dry I'll sand them up and then cut them. And we, we, then we just get done. Okay, here I am measuring for the handle. I normally make the handle about 50 mil wider than this around. So when it's on, it sticks out about an inch each side. Okay, positioning the handle now. I'll, and I'll mark where it hits the the uh, surrounds, so they stay flat. Okay, just just marking a curve, nice curve freehand. If you go back on the forward on your on your pencil marks, 
you get a nice curve. Okay, good looking handle. Now I will sand it, sand it all up. So the inside curves, the outside curves, and the corners. Now I'll, I'll, I'll put uh, the router where I'll put a round of a bit. Over, over it. Make it easy on the hands when you pick it up and lift it. I could have used my, my router table for this, but the, the husband family has already set up in this router, so I just put it in for us. Okay, that's a plug tar. But I have, to, I have to fix the handle on to the box with the screw, which is a handle. So I'm doing a 3 8 hole first. Not too deep, only about half inch deep. And again. Now I'm I'm doing for the plugs. The plugs are locked out except that when you put them in you've got long grain instead of end grain showing. You see them here now. See, the, the, the four, you have to break them off in there and glue them in. Okay, now I'm, I'm drilling a 5mm hole right through the handle. But I want the screw to be, to go in easy. I don't want it to bind at all. So, we'll pull the handle down to the surround. Take the length of the screw. Be glue. Now I've got some mark there where it goes. In the centre. And screw the first one. Just nip it up. There you go. And gluing the plugs in. Just set them in, just give them a little tap of the hammer. Let them dry. Check the lid. Okay. I've already, I've already cut the sides of the uh, of the supper of the lid off, and now I just cut cut the um, plugs off, give them a bit of a sand. There you go guys, 
one box, one Japanese two box, finished, ready to sand. Wasn't that hard, was it? And it came out great. Sliding lid, come out really good. I'll sand this one up and I'll give it a coat, three coats of polish and it'll look magnificent. And there it is all polished up. It does, it looks magnificent. But the honey golden colour of the blackwood and deep red colour of the cedar. Hey guys, the Japanese two box, all finished. Came up great. Look at the colours of the blackwood. And the walnut handle sets it off quite nicely. It wasn't that hard to make, was it? If you follow along step by step, anyone can do this. Come up great, Heather. Okay, hey guys, I got an another surprise for you. I am going to give this box away to one of my subscribers. If you're from Australia, just leave a comment in the in the box below and I'll pick one out and I'll send you this box. This magnificent Japanese toolbox. Alright, that, that's it for this video. Um, the next video, another box, but this time it's going to be a different one. It'll be um, a box with a lift out lid, I think. Anyway, it should be fun. Stay tuned and please subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you.